the purple one. Scratch, don't say anything. Please. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to review the AR mode of the game Kings of Pool by Uken Studios. The entire game itself is probably one of the better um, uh, pool games uh, on the App Store and uh, on Google Play. Uh, you have a free online multiplayer pool and uh, global chat and uh, global leaderboard and tournaments and stuff. But I'm going to focus on the AR mode um, only uh, in this uh, review. So here you can see me positioning the table. I can change the size of the table and the height. Uh, sliding up, down, I'm uh, going to change the height and pinching uh, out or in, going to change the size of the table. Now you can start the game by pressing the AR button in the top left uh, corner when you start the game or when you enter the game uh, by uh, clicking play, there's um, a little banner there uh, where you need to press it and it's called AR mode and you can start playing in augmented reality. Now here I'm playing the, um, the practice mode but there's also an option to play against an AI character called Scratch and I'm going to show you soon. So let's check out some gameplay first. You see, I think like here, like it's supposed to look a bit, you know, I think the, the orientation of the table is not perfect. I, I'm not sure, but it just feels like it. So let's just put this ball. And, and, yeah. Ah, I missed. As you can see, there's a helper line, <coughs> white helper line uh, on the table that shows you the trajectory uh, of the ball, which make it easier for you to see where the ball that you're hitting is gonna uh, move. Uh, it makes it easier, of course, to put balls inside the pockets. Like it's going uh, realistic on the way. We're gonna put this ball. So again, it's not like it, it shows you the line, so it's very easy to understand where the line goes. But sometimes I miss even with this one. And yeah, now we're gonna miss. You just need to hold it steady. So later I understood that you can actually lock the angle uh, of the shot by just um, uh, pulling down the cube, and then you can just uh, put it forward uh, fully in order to uh, stop and, re, uh, and reframe your shot and then pull again to lock it. Make it easier uh, to uh, make sure that your ball is uh, perfectly aligned uh, with the pocket. And, come on. Now the longer you swipe down, the more powerful the shot is. Missed again. Okay, so let's play against uh, Scratch. Uh, now here I'm trying the second mode uh, where you play against an AR character called uh, Scratch. It's a little funny and cute robot uh, that does uh, really cute uh, gestures as you can see soon. Uh, so we are playing against each other. Uh, again, this is an AI character, so but it is it's playing very good. Uh, just watch. Again. No, nothing. So it's my turn, right? Yeah, it says your turn. And I'm gonna... Oh, uh, it's blocked, so let's see which... Oh, actually we have this uh, orange one. This orange one is very easy. Very easy, but I'm not sure that they're going to put him in. <laughs> Don't curse me on the comment section that I missed this one. I, I told you I felt really, really bad that day. Uh, but even Scratch doesn't understand what's happened. I know Scratch, you see? He really says to himself, come on, what's wrong with you, right? Uh, yeah, this was a really bad play. Nice. What did he put? Ah, I'm sold, it's alright, yeah. Now, I wish there was an option to see the ball in the pocket. I mean, even just for a few seconds, um, until the player hits the other ball, just to know which ball uh, he puts in. It also makes it more realistic in a way, so that's something, a little feature that I want to see. Um, uh, in an update. Uh, the purple one. 
Scratch, don't say anything. Please. You know, even without voice, without him talking, uh, sorry, it, <laughs> uh, it's actually fine playing against him. He's so, like, he's very, uh, you know, um, full of uh, personality, even with his little gestures. I just enjoy playing against him. Okay. Thank you. So we have this solid, this is 100% in. This is one. Come on, a bit. Yeah, this this is it. No! <gasps> the problem is that I have a headache when I crouch, so that's why I don't have a. I know. I know scratch, I know, but I don't feel good today. It's not an excuse, seriously. That's why I have a problem aiming. So you put it in, I think you put it in. I don't know if he calls Scratch because he scratches his back, but he's actually, he's a funny character. Um, yeah, and um, they actually won this game and uh, right. because they play really bad. Yeah, put the black, put the black in. Mm. My turn. So. Uh, now in terms of visuals, the game looks fantastic. I mean really, just look at this, just a realistic experience in augmented reality. It just looks great. Whenever I played it, uh, you know, just this is a game that I just enjoy spawning whenever I am and just uh, uh, playing. I wish, it was like in, I wish it was like in haptic feedback um, when you like uh, hit the ball, uh, the cue ball, but uh, again, it just feels good. Just look at this game. No matter which angle you look at it, it just looks fantastic. Nice. Why are you sneezing? Saying that it was very easy? Huh? Huh? That's what you are saying? No fair. No fair. And other than not having a stick to play and you know something to lay your hands on so you feel a realistic uh, pool game, uh, other than this you just feel realistic, completely realistic. Like look at the table and the way you hit the ball and the physics, everything just nailed on perfectly. Uh, that's why, you know, if you don't have a pool table at home, I think this is the closest you can get to actually uh, play pool um, in your home. Yay, you missed, finally. Okay, so... Now, I just want to mention that uh, according to the um, update history on the App Store, on September 13th, uh, 2018, uh, there's a local multiplayer in augmented reality. Players can compete over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, uh, and it also supports spectators, but it requires iOS 12. So this is just something that I didn't test here, but you should know about that it. it's available. Yeah. Oh, I put it in. I didn't even look. Actually, I put a ball in without even having intention to put it in. Thank you, Scratch. <laughs> All right, so now it's supposed to be an easy shot. Wait. Yes, this was easy. All right. My turn, my turn, move, move, scratch, move. You're interfering. It's supposed to be in as well. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, buddy, thank you. Yeah, so that's something exciting, having your little robot AR buddy playing with you and I remember playing this in Seoul and I, I felt that I'm not alone in the street when I played it like there's somebody with me playing it was so much fun actually let's pause for a second and bring this uh, memory from the archive let's do it all right so we're in Seoul South Korea playing the same game now this was actually um, uh, was shot with the iPad so that's why you see the um, 4 by 3 uh, aspect ratio, uh, so it's a bit different, uh, but the same game, the same game just uh, on the iPad for iOS. This was actually a perfect day to go outside and um, uh, play this game because there was a cherry blossom as you can see, uh, it was just beautiful. Look, even Scratch was excited uh, seeing this uh, cherry blossoms um, yeah, all around us, <laughs> he's having fun. Of course, people were looking at me like what I'm doing there, thinking but probably, oh, this guy is taking tons of photos and videos of the cherry blossoms, but um, yeah, just a bit. But actually, my focus was on playing a pool game, an augmented reality pool game, uh, which of course they can't see. It's all 
yeah, whoops, no, don't go. Yeah, you can't see the table, right? So here I'm playing uh, the same game near a lake and you know this type of game where you just walk and you know have a quiet uh, uh, afternoon and then you decide oh come on I want to do something interesting so you just pop up the device and start playing a pool game uh, outdoors. So in a way with augmented reality you can actually have a pool game in your pocket I mean how amazing is this you just pop it up and you have a table pool table in front of you. Oh yeah that guy <laughs> it was quite funny. Okay, we're back to the original location after taking a little trip and yeah, we continue playing against Stretch and having fun. <clears throat> I'm sorry, not fun. I just put the black ball in. So why are you clapping, Clutch? <laughs> Scratch, sorry, I called you Clutch. <laughs> All right, this was bad move. So I like a standard um, pool game where you, you know, you are confined to a certain location, you can move the table here, it's easy, the, the table doesn't weigh anything, you just move and place it somewhere else, so much fun, so I just change the location. No, oh. bad, your turn scratch, I know, I know, I'm playing bad today, I'm sick, I told you, your turn. What did you put there? Oh, he failed! He put mine! Oopsie! Oh, oh funny. So yeah, that's Scratch. When uh, he misses, he feels bad and just, uh, you know, looks sad. Uh, and he's also enjoyed cheering me when I'm putting the ball in. Nice. Thanks. Um, actually, yeah, there is this one. This one. Don't interfere. Uh, nice. And uh, let's see which one. Mm, so yeah, I'm gonna hit this one and the yellow. So a bit, yeah. Nice. Thank you. This was good, right? Sna scratch, scratch, uh, snake. I don't know what to call you. So here I was debating with myself, you know, how to cancel, I've cancelled the move because, see, I just locked and it wasn't, I saw that the line is not aligned uh, well, so I just didn't know what to do. So then I just moved the Q um, stick up uh, until the end, now it's released and I can reframe and then I can just shoot again, right? You can lock it again and make sure you put your ball in. Yeah, this one was good. Thank you, thank you. All right, we are doing good. Um, let's see, these ones. Oh, this one I can actually put it in. Yeah. Uh, now it's on the edge. Let's try it. Let's try it. Nice. I put. Oh, I put you think a ball, your ball, right? Scratch. Okay. Actually, I did good. Maybe I put two, two balls. I'm that good. I'm now look how beautiful the reflections uh, look at the ball. The only thing that uh, would be great if the, the reflections were actually reflecting uh, the real environment. I know that they just um, project the texture of the um, of the, an image that the camera captures in front of me and can just put it on the ball. This could be nice. Uh, will make it more um, realistic having those uh, dynamic reflections. Oh, I failed? Oh, but whoopsie, I didn't pay attention. Attention, all right, sorry. Actually put his one inside. You failed, nice. So we're gonna put this one. Um, yeah, solid, I forgot. So let's lock it. No, I missed. So there you see, I went outside and played the entire afternoon with uh, Scratch. Uh, I just went to uh, relax, you know, walk a bit just to feel better. And I find myself just uh, playing pool uh, all afternoon. So this is it. This is Kings of Pool Augmented Reality Mode. It's a fantastic mode and it, it really adds something to the game that, you know, just can get this uh, when playing it um, in the standard mobile mode. So 
you really need to download and give it a try. It's free on the App Store and on Google Play. Highly recommended. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, this helps me a lot. Uh, and I'm going to bring you so many amazing new videos related to augmented reality. So until next video, have a great week and I see you soon. Peace. Bye bye. I'm losing all the time. Nice game. GG.